Welcome everyone back to the D-Day and it's been an amazing four days. How often does Melbourne win two games in a row? North Melbourne are shocking, a terrible football club at the moment, going nowhere and I feel for their supporters because Melbourne have not been great and North are just so much worse. Here's the highlights and it's positive, very positive. Apart from the start, the start I did think that North Melbourne going into this game could beat us. I thought that. I thought that. And in the first minute, it looked like that. Again, Lever out positioned and Majak just slots it from point blank. It looked really good early for North Melbourne. I thought the umpires were giving them a bit of a chair ride early. Um, I'm normally pretty fair on the umpiring um, as far as against Melbourne, but I thought they were getting a lot of freeze. I mean, that was probably a 50, but it was, I think, 7-0 on the freeze to start. So that probably assisted North Melbourne getting a head start jump on us. But from then onwards, it was delightful. Inboard and this man. Have a look at our uh, recruit, Pickett, here. Jack's holding the ball. They've got to do something about the rules there. Pickett, oh, the shimmy into the one-palmed snapper over the shoulder goal. And Pickett... 18 years old, is looking very good. Don't know what Harms is doing there. Went to bounce and lost the ball. Look out. This was a great tackle. I don't know how you package yourself so much as a victim of that tackle. How do you allow yourself to be boxed up like that? I mean, Jesus. Um, North Melbourne bombing inside 50 and a nice mark. Uh, this bloke, I think, kicked three goals for him. So they're only shining light there for North Melbourne, uh, nine points down halfway through the second quarter and Lever had to go, ignores the point blank option, does a shit kick, but then my man, Nathan Jones, just sends it and Weeds has had an absolute clinic. He could have had five goals. Petrarca, best on for me, uh, easily. Just look at him, look at that explosiveness. Uh, the efficiency from Petrarca as well was very high. And Wiedemann here was just beginning to have a clinic. I think he was uh, three goals, I think he got. But I think he kicked about three or four points as well. Brilliant mark. Absolute pearler. Here's my boy Sparrow kicking it. Sparrow. Spargo kicking it to Weeds. I think he kicked a point from there. So North Melbourne getting dominated, but on the scoreboard one point up. I mean, Melbourne, they certainly need frequency and quantity of inside 50s to assert their uh, control. But with Jack Viney out, Brayshaw, look at him with the swing. <laughs> Brayshaw filled the void brilliantly. Uh, he got the, uh, he, you know, he got more usage in the midfield and he actually played a good game. He'd been done nothing all year. Mad Jack bombs it inside 52 on one. Stephen May had to make contact with the spoil. And um, North get a goal. I thought Stephen May was pretty stiff not to get captain. Who do you think should have been captain? We got Melksham. I thought Stephen May should have been captain. I mean, does it really matter? But, I mean, out of principle, I thought Stephen May. Look at this. And Weeds is going to get a brilliant mark. And Mackay is just no good to be matching up on Weeds. Third quarter, Clayton Oliver, handball, crazy clinic going on here with Melbourne. I've loved Langdon on the wing this year. He um, definitely accumulates the ball and has solved one position of the wing. So, I mean, that's been a positive. Uh, this bloke's done his shoulder and I've been, we've all been there, mate. It's not, it's not good. It's not good. Clayton Oliver almost drilled a kick there. Um, almost. Pickett diving, saliving. Clayton Oliver was, is very good with his second and third efforts. I think he knows that his kick's going to fuck up, so he just immediately follows up his kicks, and he's, um, it's a great, great way to get more possessions. North Melbourne on the counter-attack, and they have to convert here. One goal down. Shit kick. I mean, they're, 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 they're worse than us with their kicking efficiency. And look at this snap. He kicks it from there, does he? Nah. So, yeah, that North Melbourne was shocking with their efficiency. Laying down on that wing, own that wing. And Melbourne do like to go wide, wide, and then forget to go inboard. But it really didn't matter here as Fritch uh, kicks an absolute pearler from the uh, deep boundary. Look at that. Brilliant goal. 
and it's very positive this uh, this episode. Melbourne's won two games in in four days. Ball inside fifty for North Hall has collected uh, his teammate. And what do you reckon? Is that a is that a free kick? What what, what do you want Hibbert to do there? Young draft pick, uh, Luke Jackson did pretty well in the ruck against Goldstein. Um, so we got away with not having gone. And that, look at that. that. That's straight out of the NFL. That's an inside carry to Petrarca. That is brilliant by Clayton Oliver and Petrarca there. That was, that was, that was passing to your running back for the touchdown. Brilliant. Fourth quarter. And um, I thought we might get some, um, you know, uh, some junk time. And we did. Melbourne just lining up here, queuing up. Look at this. And North Melbourne at this point, when you've got Spargo kicking goals, you're a rabble as an opposition. Um, feel for the North Melbourne supporters here, but I don't know where they go from go from here. I mean, a lot of their good players are old. Goldstein, Zebel, Cunnington, they're all getting towards 30-plus. Yeah, they've, got, they've got some work to do. Ben Brown. Look at this, surely a free kick to Mackay. <laughs> Goes to Melvin. He got pushed, did he? Brilliant. And um, here we go. Turn and go, Petrarca. Look at look at that hand pass. He could have snapped it. He probably would have got it. But the hand pass, mate. Petrarca's got the ball on a string this year. He is doing a lot of things right. And, yeah, North Melbourne, the, it just breaking down everywhere. Um, yeah, best on Petrarca. Um, hands down, Petrarca. You know, Clayton Oliver is up there. I thought Pickett was really, really good. Um, yeah, I mean, in a game where we, we kind of ended up winning so easy, Brayshaw was definitely up there. We ended up winning quite easily. Um, you know, Wiedemann was great. If he had have converted more goals, I reckon he would have been almost best on. But Petrarca was just absolutely brilliant. Who's your best on? Um, Clayton Oliver, if, if he snaps this, which I think he did, yeah, he look, he's just laughing like, how good's this? It's too good. Poor North Melbourne. Um, so we win we win the game after a competitive first half. We just absolutely um, blew them apart in the second half. And to be honest with Melbourne, it's the game that we should have won, uh, needed to win, and we did what we needed to do. And looking at the ladder now, we're ninth. So, I mean... Yeah, we've gone from being one of the worst teams to playing the worst teams, and now we're, we're ninth. So, big game this week against Collingwood. 